guys are super excited. I uh, <clears throat> want to talk about kindness in our giving today. My title tonight is Giving Kindness. If we would turn with me to Ephesians chapter 4, and I want to begin with verse 25. This little portion is talking about do not grieve the Spirit of God. Just interesting, you know, you search for things that go along with the topic that's on your heart, and then you find out what the Bible says about the topics that are on your heart. You know, oh, I know that verse that's in the Bible. And then you read what goes along with that verse, and you find out, oh, that's what he was talking about. Verse 25 says, Therefore, putting away lying, let each one of you speak truth with his neighbor. For we are members one of one another. Be angry and do not sin. How many has ever had to make that choice? Yeah. I am angry. How many here has maybe felt that today? Oh, sure. Have, have, has things ever possibly not gone perfect? Yeah. Oh, I hear you. Yeah. Possibly. I mean, maybe. So we have a choice. Do we, do we, we can be angry and we can decide what we're going to do about it. Okay. That's right. Sometimes we, we get all worried about you know, there's a verse of scripture that says what defiles a man is not what he puts in, but what comes out of him. Right. You know, we have, we have some very uh, strict traditions in our house. And, and if we're watching The Biggest Loser, we have to eat ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> you know, just, uh, you know, anyway, lighten the mood there. <clears throat> it's, it's not what goes in that ruins you. It's what comes out. And we can have things that cause us to have a tough day. And it's, it's not the tough day that ruins us. It's how we just respond to it. And so we can be angry, but what we do about it and what we do with our anger, that's what counts. So do not let the sun go down on your wrath. Now, in the wintertime, you don't have as much time to work things out. Just wanted to for just give you a forewarning. If you're going to work it out, you've got to work it out quick. Because you only got like 15 minutes after you get out of work before the sun goes down, right? Verse 27 says, Nor give place to the devil. Let him who stole steal no longer, but rather let him labor, working with his hands what is good, that he may have something to give him who has need. Let no corrupt word proceed out of your mouth, but what is good for necess necessary edification, that it may impart grace to the hearers. And do not grieve the Holy Spirit of God by whom you were sealed for the day of redemption. Let all bitterness, wrath, anger, clamor, and evil speaking be put away from you with all malice. And be, we finally got to it, be ye kind to one another, tenderhearted, forgiving one another, even as God in Christ forgave you. Kindness, just simple acts of kindness. We, we live in a world that doesn't operate that way. There's a program that will take care of whatever someone needs. I don't have to do it. If someone's in need, they can go and they can get their need met, which there's nothing wrong with that. But it takes, I don't have to be kind to someone because that's our, someone else already does that. So we live in a society, in a world where I just have to get my needs met. We, we live in a society that we take, 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 and we still don't have enough. What are we talking about? We're talking about giving. There was some studies, or I don't know if it was a study, there were some things done, and people would go out and they would give a homeless man $100, or homeless person. And he, you know... They would tell him, oh, you can't go buy, you know, drugs, and you can't go buy alcohol and all this, you know. And Well, anyway, they followed him. 
to see what he did with it. Expecting him to just, he went and he bought food for all of his friends. And out of that $100 that he gave, he fed a whole bunch of other people who didn't have food. Huh, giving. I mean, that was his, he could have ate for a long time. But instead he ate once and he gave all the rest of it away. And then someone who was well off walked up and asked if he would share with them and he did. He ended up giving them like $700 I think after that. Because he was, he was wanting to prove, well, he's just going to use it up for drugs and alcohol. And it, it, it humbled the guy who was trying to prove the stereotype. Do we in our abundance forget simple acts of kindness? In our abundance, do we not have enough? Can we see every blessing he's poured out? Can we give it back to him? Or, no, I got it now. It's mine. Simple, fundamental characteristics that we learn with the toys in our bedroom when our friends come over. But I had it first. You weren't interested in it until anyone else, you haven't touched that toy in weeks, but now as soon as someone else is playing with it, it's the only toy in the world that I need. Giving kindness. If we have abundance, kindness is in there, and we can give it away. Because I, 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 I saw a man who had nothing and was able to give. The Bible says he gives seed to the sower. That man got 100, and by the end of the day, he walked away with 700. That was, that was like fast seed time harvest. <laughs> but I mean, can you imagine being in that position of great need and that need being met. Now, well, did God do that? Was that someone? Yes. All things work together. It worked out. But do you understand? God was trying to teach the smart aleck, young punk, a lesson too. Just as much as he was wanting to bless someone who had a kind heart, he was also trying to teach the guy who was trying to prove someone to be bad, what real kindness was. How far will kindness go? It'll probably go a lot longer than we think it will. The, the mentality that we have is we try to control with either fear or we try to control with, you know, you have to. But it's possible that we may see a greater response out of a kind act than we would ever see out of something else. So Ephesians here is just telling us to, uh, you could be angry, but don't sin. Okay. And try that kindness on for size. It may fit better than you thought. It may work more effectively than you thought it would work. Because we really have come to a place where you know, they say chivalry, or I can't even say the word, you know, <clears throat> you know, a man that has, you know, morals and respect, you know, is dead, which in probably a great sense of society, it is, because it's not been taught. It's not been desired to be learned, but it's really just simply being kind to another human being, you know, opening the door and helping someone. It, it's not... If you're doing it to get something, you're kind of missing the point. If you're really doing it because you care about someone else's life, then now you've tapped into something. You now care about someone else more than you care about yourself. Why do we give? 
because I care about someone else more than I care about myself. If I'm giving my tithe and being obedient to the word of God for tax purposes and so that God will bless me, I may be missing the point. Because if I'm giving to get God to bless me, it probably is never going to happen because that's not the point of it. it. The Bible says, for God so loved the world that he gave. What was God's solution to a problem? He gave into the problem. He, he gave his very best into the situation. A simple act of kindness. I will lay down my life for you. That changed the world. Amen. So we have an opportunity to give. Online you have buttons. In the house we have baskets. Why do we give? So that we can work together as a team to help someone else find out the truth of what the Word of God says so it can change their life. So that they can know, you know what? God desires to help me in my life. He cares about what's going on. He cares about what's going on in my checkbook. He cares about what's going on in my relationship with the people around me. He desires to be part of that and to help in that. He has some instruction. It may mean we have to do things differently. But if it's broken, fix it. I, I, in, in the training process of my son, I'm learning how a four-year-old does not think like a 35-year-old. And, and I'm realizing I can talk for a long time and I'm just using words that he has no idea what they are and it doesn't matter how passionately I explain that to him, it does not even register. But I have to do something to fix the problem. I got to give my best into the situation. You know, that's, that's all we can do is give our best. We give our best into what God's asked us to do, to be obedient to his word. If that means we, we give of our finances, we give of our time, if we simply are kind to those who truly need it in this day and age, we're able to let this world know God is not dead. He's living right here inside of me. Now, some people may roar louder than others. I'm a more of a subtle, quieter person, except when I get angry, and then that roar comes out no problem. I, I, you know. What does God want to help you fix? Give into that problem. Give yourself to saying, God, help me. When my child is screaming and I'm trying to help them and I just want to yell back and the sun is going down and I've got just moments. Hey, I have to work on stuff. You know, you may have got it all figured out, but hey, that's great for you. But you know, hey, I'm a human and I still have to put my pants on one leg at a time. So Lord has to help me because I, I don't have to do it on my own. When I've come to the end of myself, I can just walk away and sin not. I can walk in the other room and say, your father needs a moment. Because I'm going to have to ask for forgiveness if I keep down that path. <laughs> and you know, it's okay to ask for forgiveness. You know, I've, 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 I've tucked my son in bed and said, forgive me, I really didn't do good today. I'd like to do better tomorrow. Would you like to help me do better tomorrow? And you know, I find my son quickly saying, Dad, would you forgive me? I, I wasn't listening. If I want a son who will be quick to repent, I got to be quick to repent. If I want someone, my son to be kind, then I'm going to have to be kind. If you're struggling in an area, give yourself to it. Give, give everything you got and let God take that 
and make something with it. Because if you just keep trying to do it with a missing piece, it's just going to be a puzzle with a missing piece. And all you'll be able to see is the missing piece. So if you're missing something, let's allow God to fill that tonight. Father, we love you. We thank you for your word. We thank you that we can give kindness today and you desire to give into our life and so we're going we're gonna to give of our life so that you can give back to us. If we're missing a piece, help us find that missing piece to complete us. We thank you for your word. We receive it tonight and we, we speak a blessing upon all those who gave online, those who gave in the house. We, we thank you for their desire to be obedient to your word that every need that they have would be met by the, the rich abundance that God has. Not that he's waiting to get, that he has. And so we trust you, God, that you'll meet our needs. And as we are found responsible, you can trust us with more. So find us responsible this week, God. We'll, we'll give to being responsible. We'll give to being obedient. We'll give to doing your word so that you can find us responsible. We love you, Lord. Mm -hmm.